Hi, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these policy envelopes. Now they're quick and simple and easy to do. And basically you need minimal supplies. So you'll need some glue, some scissors. Now it doesn't have to be wet glue, but if you're gonna use a dry adhesive, I would use something like Stampin' Up's Tear and Tape, or if you've got any of the red line, double-sided sticky tape, that's really strong. And then you need something to score with. So I'm going to use my Simply Scoreboard, but you could use the trimmer with the score blade. It's entirely up to you. The finished size of these envelopes is five and a half by ten. They're nothing new. They've been around for ages, but I just thought I'd show you how to do them. I'm going to make a set of these and I'm gifting them to somebody. And I'm using some kind of vintage e type um, scrapbook paper it doesn't need to be double-sided it can be single-sided like this is again it's entirely up to you and you can make these any size but this particular size is what I'm going to show you today and then while I'm making it I'll explain how you could possibly turn this into a mini album if you like to make mini books or mini albums so I'll just put those on one side I'll bring in my scoreboard and I'll bring in my next piece of paper now, there are only four score marks that you have to make on this. This is a piece of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. If your paper has a direction, then the first two scores that I'm going to show you are your top and bottom. So this paper is fairly kind of nondescript, but it does have script in it and it has um, writing in it. This actual section here is a pattern piece. It says centre back seam. And then this says hat crown, I think it is. It's, it looks like it's probably a hat pattern. And then there's some more words here. So obviously I want my writing as much as possible to try and be the right way up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to orientate it round so that my words are all now running this way. I'm going to score at one inch and I'm going to score at 11 inches. And these two score marks are going to be your top and your bottom. Now I'm going to rotate it back so I can read the words in the right way. And I'm going to score it at three inches and at eight and a half. And that's all there is to it. I forgot to say a bone folder would be handy. So what I'm going to do, because I've only scored lightly with it being paper, I'm going to normally where you've scored here, you would turn it over and then fold. But I found with using this paper, I can't always find the fold. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna fold with the fold for now, if that makes sense. So where I've just made the valley, and I'm going to burnish it and I'm going to do that on all four score marks and then I'm going to fold it back it, its right way. If you were using card, you could press on harder and then you'd see your score lines easier. But because I don't want to go through the paper, I can see where I've made the indentation here. So I'm just going to fold lightly burnish and then I'm going to fold it back the right way so now I can turn it over and fold as I would normally fold so I've just made my fold lines a little bit more prominent that's all it is if you can see your score marks then just Score on the right side, turn it over, and then fold. So now you're going to open it up, and I'm going to rotate it. This, I'm reading this the right way, so this is the bottom and this is the top. 
So I'm just going to turn it over so I know that this is the bottom. And I'm just going to try and find a pen. Now, obviously, you don't need to mark this. Normally, when you're making boxes and things like that, you would cut on the score line and then you'd notch in. But what um, I want to show you how to do on this one is, you're going to, this is my fold line here. You're going to start about a quarter of an inch away from the fold line on the actual envelope side. And then you're going to cut on a diagonal angle all the way to this point here. So if I can get my pen to draw, you're going to cut like that. So this is where you would normally cut if you were making a like a box on a seam. You're going to come slightly up and in. And it helps if you have a good, good long pair of scissors so you can do this in one swoop. But it's not vital, you know, any scissors will do. And you're just going to cut up to that first fold line. Now, normally, again, I'll try and fold this over so you can see. Normally, you would cut on your fold line. So what you're going to do, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to come into the envelope part of the body and you're going to come about a quarter of an inch and you're going to draw. Well, I'm going to draw and you're going to cut. So you're cutting on an angle. Like so. So you're kind of cutting off a wedge shape. And then I'll just do the same and I'll show you. So I'm going to turn it around. So this is the bottom. So I'm coming up about a quarter of an inch from the fold line. I'm going to take my scissors and just try and get it in one big swoop. And then I'm going to come to the bottom and I'm going to do the same. So I'll turn that round in the hope that you can see it. And this is what we've I've taken off. You can see it's on a, a slight angle. So I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to come in about a quarter of an inch into the envelope body. Cut to that first fold line and then cut on an angle. Now, obviously, if you want this to be precise, you could me measure exactly. So this is the basis of your envelopes. If you make mini albums, what you could do, just apply your glue along one edge and glue it down and leave your ends open and then put a score line in the middle and fold this up. And this would make like a pocket album. You could stack lots of these together and bind them together and you'd have two pockets. So for now, I'm just gonna make sure that I stick the bottom and then I'll just briefly do another one quickly. So this is my words in the right orientation. So I'm going to put glue on this side. It doesn't matter which side you put it on. You can put it on any, you can bring this one in and bring this one over. You know, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to use wet glue and I'm just going to run a small bead of glue along this edge. So I'm going to bring this over. I like to use my bone folder to burnish it down. That way, hopefully, I don't get glue all over the place. And then again, this is the bottom. Now, you don't want to put glue all over this flap because you've cut some away here and you'll end up sticking the whole thing together. So you just want, again, a little bit of glue just on the bottom edge. That's all you need. And that is enough to hold it, especially with it being wet glue. So again, I'm just going to give it a burnish down. And that is my policy envelope, as they're known, with the flap. So that's another one. So I'll just do one more quickly. And then... 
So this this paper doesn't has an orientation in in the, the way the flowers go. So again, I'm going to turn it so that the flowers are running the right this way horizontally. I'm going to score at one and eleven. I'm going to turn it round to the right orientation and I'm going to score it at three and eight and a half. Again, I find with this particular paper, it's easier for me to try and find the score lines from the wrong side first. and then I'll fold them back the correct way. I can just see the score lines a bit better on the plain white side. So now I'll turn it over and I'll just fold all my score lines the correct way and burnish them a little bit firmer. Now again, I want my flowers the right way up, so this is going to be the bottom. So I'm going to turn it over. Wedge in and wedge in there. Or, as I say, you know, make a stack of these like this open-ended, score them all in the middle and make yourself a pocketbook. So again, this is the bottom now because I can see my flowers are in the right orientation. I'm just going to apply a little bit of wet glue. And there's another one. So this is what I've got so far. So I've got five pocket envelopes. I've got a couple more I think to make. So I hope you like that idea. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you've got the bell notification icon switched on on YouTube and that way you'll get notified when I upload and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.